Hello there guys and welcome back to a brand new GTA 6 video here on the channel. Quickly before we get into today's video, I just want to say that only 19.9% of you watching this video are actually subscribed, so I would appreciate it if you click the subscribe button for more videos like this one and also click the thumbs up button if you enjoy the content. Thank you. Let's jump straight into today's topic. So you guys probably know about this, but does it actually mean something? So if you didn't know Take-2 Interactive the parent company of Rockstar Games recently made a deal and bought the mobile game company Zynga. Take-2 paid $12.7 billion for the company. With the purchase, Take-2 revealed that the company's compound annual growth rate through 2024 will be 14%. Take a look at this part of an article by Video Games Chronicle. You can find the full article in the description. On Monday, Rockstar's parent company revealed its intention to acquire Zynga in a $12.7 billion deal, the biggest ever in the games industry. As part of the announcement, the company forecast that its compound annual growth rate through 2024 will be 14%. As spotted by Axios, this led industry analysts to believe the publisher is planning a major release for its fiscal year ending on March 31, 2024. Cowan's Doug Kreutz said the guidance equated to some $9 billion in consumer spending, pointing to a likely GTA 6 launch in fiscal year 24. He told Axios that Take-Two previously hinted at a 2012 or early 2013 release window for Grand Theft Auto V via financial targets before pointing to a delay when it subsequently lowered its guidance, the game would go on to be released in late 2013. So yeah, there absolutely is precedent for putting a Rockstar game into numbers before it's officially dated, and then getting it wrong, he said. A Jeffries analyst also said in a research note this week, there are only a handful of titles that can provide management with the confidence to put out such a strong guidance. We believe there is at least one Rockstar IP set to be released by FY24. Industry insider Tom Henderson claimed last July that Grand Theft Auto 6 would release in either 2024 or 2025, partly due to Rockstar's new focus on employee well-being following criticism of its alleged crunch culture. His claims were backed up by well-informed Bloomberg journalist Jason Schreier, as well as VGC's own sources. Rockstar is currently gearing up to release the PS5 and Xbox Series X versions of Grand Theft Auto V in March. A huge thanks to Video Games Chronicle for this amazing article. You can check it out in the description. So, analysts said that at least one Rockstar title is set to come out by March 31, 2024. Actually back in 2020 Take-Two's financials indicated that their marketing spendings would double in 2024. They are talking about some major growth which would only be possible with the release of a brand new IP. Many news outlets and other sources have been talking about this. And that's a bold prediction. But it sounds very believable. By 2024 many people will have acquired a next-gen console, which means that more people will be able to purchase the game when it comes out. By then, hopefully, the chip shortage won't be a problem and the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S will be available in larger quantities. Could this be the year that we get an official announcement for GTA 6? It is possible. If we get an announcement in the 2022 winter season, this would leave a year and a half to two year window between the announcement and the release date. When you consider that there might also be a delay, we know that Rockstar likes to delay their games, we might be looking at a late 2024 release date. Of course, nothing is confirmed, but this actually sounds fair. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. Are we finally slowly entering the GTA 6 era? This is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.